Okay, we are going to cover uh, how to discontinue an IV. So, of course, you're going to check your orders, you're going to verify your patient, and you're going to tell your patient what you're going to do and let them know as you get ready to do that. Uh, you can come in and you want to start removing the tape. If the tape is difficult to remove, you can always use an alcohol prep that will kind of help loosen it up, protect your patient's skin as you are getting ready to remove it. Always pull the, the tape toward the IV insertion site and always stabilize your IV as you're getting ready to do that. So if it's real sticky, you can always, you can take and rub with the alcohol and that will help release some of the adhesive. It's always better to have smaller gloves on when you're doing any of this. It just uh, the glove tips don't get in your way. But, so you're going to just continue to pull the IV tape towards the insertion site. When you are getting ready, the equipment you're going to need, of course, is uh, your alcohol. You're also going to need a clean 2x2s two and um, so you're going to want to apply pressure after you have removed all the tape. So once the tape is removed and you're ready to take the IV out, you want to start pulling the IV, but you want to hover over the top of the site. You do not want to apply pressure yet, not until the cap on is out. So you pull the IV cap on out then you hold pressure, you check to make sure that the cath line is intact. Um, once you have done that and the cath line is intact, you want to document the procedure. You want to document that the cath line is intact. You want to document how your patient tolerated the procedure. You want to talk, uh, document the skin integrity and how long you applied pressure, if there was any bruising, excessive bleeding, what you educated your patient on and whether or not you put a band-aid on that. And um, that is discontinuity of an IV.